Thank you very much, and I want to congratulate everybody who's in this room because the reason why all of you are here is because you want to see a cleaner, better future for all of us and for everybody and for generations to come. I think it's important for me to point out that I'm one of the few engineers in the lab office. I'm actually an electrical engineer, and I'm very, very proud of that. So because of that, I've been in office for 17 years. My colleagues always throw me on the front line when it comes to energy issues, and I'm very, very glad to do that. When I was a council member for 10 years for the city of Los Angeles, I helped and made sure that I drove the largest electrical and water power district in the country to have a renewable portfolio standard. And we were horribly dependent on the, the least cleanest uh, energy in the world. And now we, are, we have moved drastically into much cleaner energy. And uh, it's really important for us to understand that it's really the public that demanded that. And luckily for me, I had your support and, able to, and I was able to do that in the second part of the city and the country. And now that I'm on, uh, in Congress, this is not only a national issue, it's a global issue. But with all due respect, one thing that we should understand as American citizens, even in the worst of times, we are the consumer juggernaut on the planet. Which means that every other country does business with us, every other country looks at us, every other country tries to emulate us, and every other country wants to sell us something. But the thing that we have still in this country, like no other country on the planet, is we are still the innovative capital of the world. And therefore, when it comes to clean energy, again, it takes, in our democracy, the people to demand that we get cleaner and cleaner energy, and please continue to do that. But it's important that we have elected officials to understand how important that is. One of the things I want to point out to you that this elected official understands, that I understand that the cleanest energy is the energy that we don't use. So it's important. it's important for us to understand that we are going to be the driver. The United States of America is going to be the driver for innovation, going to be the driver for product, going to be the driver for consumption of cleaner energy. Yet at the same time, we also need to be the drivers of making sure that we use less and less energy per capita. I'm very proud to say that the city of Los Angeles over the last 20 years today, we're using the same amount of megawatts today as we did 20 years ago, even though we have many more people, many more businesses, and much more activity going on, yet at the same time, per capita basis, we're consuming less energy. Again, that should be also on our mind, as well as making sure that we create cleaner energy and that we drive the technologies so that we can invite industry, as was mentioned earlier, to invest, invest, invest in cleaner energy. One of the things that I'd also like to say when it comes to this particular caucus, the members of Congress bipartisan, is that this is, in my opinion, where the Sierra Club meets the Chamber of Commerce and they walk toward each other, not in animus, but in friendship and collaboration, and they shake hands and say, on this one, brothers and sisters, we are together. So congratulations to all of you for being part of the solution.